Hello everyone, it's Travis with CoCab, Watch Collectors of California and Beyond with another full review. Tonight we're going to be looking at the Nordic Marine Instruments Ostrasoan Havgron, which is the Danish for sea green. Kind of get a look at it there. This is a, a beautiful watch. Um, I want to make sure you can see, there it is. Look at the waves on that dial. It's really, really pretty cool. So. A little bit about the brand. Uh, this brand was founded by Mick Jorgensen, who you might know from Watch Bandit, a uh, website he started in 2014 and is a supplier of microbrand watches to the European market um, and other places, I believe. Mick had some help uh, from Christopher Waluga, who's also from Watch Bandit, and a name that you may recognize, uh, Travis Tan from RZE Watches. You may remember that we recently posted a review of RZE Watches uh, in the YouTube channel here, so check that out if you haven't already. Uh, this watch was designed in Denmark, it was engineered in Singapore, has Swiss loom and a Japanese movement, so a lot of good things going on there. Uh, you may remember, but uh, what makes a CoCab review different? We look at the, the acronym, C is characteristics, O is operations, second C is cool and unique features, accessibility is the A, which is both price and availability, and B is brand offerings and info. So we'll be looking at all of that uh, tonight. We're gonna start right off with the characteristics. The basic specs, uh, the height of it is 11.9 millimeters. You can see it's got that flat sapphire crystal there. So it's a nice 11.9 uh, millimeters. The weight comes in at 161 grams or 5.7 ounces. The diameter on the case or the bezel uh, is 40 millimeters or right at the crown, it is 43.4 uh, millimeters. Lug to lug, we'll get it that way, is about 48 millimeters. You can see already that beautiful uh, different textures there from the polish to the brushed, and uh, they did a great job with that, so I'm really, really liking that. And uh, it is water resistant to 200 meters. You might be able to see that right there. Uh, and it has a warranty for two years for manufacturing defects as well as a 30-day return policy. So first thing we're going to look at is the dial. The dial is a dark, dark green. I really like it with a unique wave pattern. We'll try to show that off again. There we go. And that wave pattern is basically a tribute to the Nordic Sea. And it has a clean uh, no-date style. You can see that. Uh, on the front on the dial, it says Nordic Marine instruments, uh, Ostrasoan, and 200 meters slash 660 feet. And there's also the anchor logo right there. I think you can see that well there. Uh, there are four, four colorways available. We've got the dark green, but there's also a light blue, which is called sky blue, a sea blue. This is called the sea green, and then an Arctic white. All right, so the hands, you're going to notice that they're really, really nice hands. I'm going to try to move it slowly so you can see how they capture the light there but they are all diamond cut 316l stainless steel with brushed and polished surfaces they're great for function as far as their readability but is just amazing for their visual appeal i, I really like the handset that they chose uh, on this uh, the minute and hour have beveled edges with center kind of a stretched triangle that's filled with loom and then blunted ends on uh, the opposite side the seconds hand is pretty cool, and I didn't wind it up. We'll do that later, so it's not going right now. But the seconds hand is, you know, long and thin, triangle on the end with the loom in it, but also has a really nice orange tip there, you can see, which is an homage to the orange lighthouses and sea buoys that guide sailors. So I really like that. I thought that was a pretty cool little uh, addition to that. All right, the indices, they are also uh, diamond cut applied indices. They're basically stainless steel loomed rectangles on every hour. The 12 o'clock is slightly larger than the others. And then they also have smaller uh, minutes and seconds indicators on the dial. The loom is a Swiss Superluminova BGW9. We're going to go ahead and power that up here real quick. Um, it is applied to all three hands, all 12 indices and the 12 o'clock bevel pip. So let's go ahead and look at that. Ooh, look at that. I love the look of that limb, that loom. So very nice, uh, nice there. Really catches the eye. And I love how each indice is kind of framing the 
the loom strip inside of it. So it looks really, really good. Uh, the bezel is brushed stainless steel. Let me go ahead and show that. It's 120 click unidirectional rotating um, diving bezel insert. We'll go all the way, and it does have the upside down triangle with a loom pip at 12 o'clock, which we're gonna get back there again. This went just a little far. Went a little far again. We'll get it right eventually. It's hard when you're looking through a, a camera. I think that's uh, a little bit closer there. Um, it does have minute markers for 15 minutes and then five minute markers for the rest. The crystal we talked about is a flat sapphire crystal. I don't think I mentioned yet though, it does have a super anti-reflective on the inside. So on the inner side, so that's pretty cool. The case, and I do want to look at this case. I just love the beveled or chamfered edges there and how, let's get it to focus a little better, how it's polished on the bevel. Uh, just looks looks fantastic. It is 316L stainless steel. Uh, it's, again, great utilization of textures uh, from brushed and polished. And I just love how the, the beveled edges run all the way down the lugs. And then you can see clear down to the tips of the lugs. So it looks, uh, looks really good there. The crown, let's move over to that, is in the 3 o'clock position. You can see it has the anchor on it right there. Let's see if we can get it to focus a little better. There we go. It's in the three o'clock position. It is a screw down. We'll go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and wind it up right now. Let's see the second hand start. One thing I love about this, and we'll get to this in the operations uh, in a little bit, but it really has a very easy to engage screw down crown, and it only takes. Um, just about four or so uh, turns to, to get it to be completely screwed down. It is round, it has 30 grooves on it. Yes, I counted each one. Ah, there's a better, uh, better visual of it. It has good grip, 6.3 millimeters in diameter. Does have nice crown guards, you can see those right there. And um, we'll move from there to the lugs. The lugs are not drilled. I always love dr drilled lugs, but these ones are not. Um, lug width, we'll look at that, is 20 millimeters. Lug to lug, which we talked about already, I believe, is 48 millimeters. They are brushed and polished. I will look just real quick at the bracelet. It does taper from 20 millimeters down to 16, so a nice tapering effect right there. So that's pretty cool. The um, bracelet is a three-link oyster style, if you will. 316L stainless steel with solid end links. Trying to get you to see those there. They are fully articulating solid links secured by screw pins. You can see some of them there on the this side over here. Uh, they do taper again from 20 millimeters to 16 millimeters. This does come with an optional rubber strap. I have to say I really liked the, the metal bracelet, but that's up to you. The bracelet will fit up to eight and a half inch wrists. My wrists are about eight and a quarter and have no problem uh, at all. The bracelet also, I want to point this out, I kind of like this. It is inset just a little bit below the lugs. Let's see, I've got some, a uh, little bit of fingerprints on that. So since we're looking at it, I'll polish it up here. And you can see that there's like a little bit of an edge to that, that uh, lug that you can still see how it catches the light right there below or beside or above, I guess, the, uh, the bracelet where it fits in. So I kind of like that, just a nice little touch there. Uh, moving down the bracelet, we get to the buckle. You can see it's signed. It is a double clasp, which is always nice. We'll do that. And then one of the things I really love about this, it's a quick adjust. And so you can just push it in. And then when you want to make it bigger, you just push this button down and you can pull it out. It has about a centimeter of adjustment on there. So uh, really, really nice. Good quality construction. Nice double clasp. Great signature there. Um, very well made. I'm really liking this. All right, the packaging. This was um, a prototype, so I did not get the packaging. But as I understand it, it will come with a vegan cork travel pouch and a polishing cloth. So that's what you should be able to expect there. <clears throat> All right, moving on to operations. 
The movement in this is the automatic Miyota 90S5 ultra thin premium movement. It does have that smooth sweeping motion, which I love. Japan made, 24 joules, has up to 42 hour power reserve. So nice power reserve for you. If you don't happen to wear it every day, it'll keep, keep uh, time for you for quite some time. Uh, experience is winding it uh, very smooth. You saw me do that a little bit ago, but proper amount of tension, uh, really good. I do want to show you this too. I'll unscrew the crown again. The crown wobble is almost non-existent. Like I'm pushing it back and forth and it's just almost nothing there. So very sturdy there. Uh, some of the crown wobbles are, you know, a little bit, I feel anyway, they feel a little bit uh, not as well made as they could be. This one, not at all. Uh, setting the time, very good. And one thing I'll show you too, there's only about a quarter of a turn, I mean, sorry, a tenth of a turn um, before the hands engage, which is quite a bit less than a lot of the hand, uh, the watches that I've reviewed. Uh, turning the bezel, you saw that already, but it's very crisp, clean distinction of each click. Again, it's unidirectional, so it does not go clockwise, but a great uh, bezel action there as well. Uh, putting it on and taking it off, very easy, no problems there. Screw down crown, engages easily. Overall comfort was very good, I would say. I wore this for several days, really enjoyed it. Didn't get any hairs pulled, didn't have any problems with it. And then one of the things that I always struggle with sometimes is watches tend to stray a little on my wrist. This one did not at all, so uh, that was really cool. All right, uh, what could be improved? For me, there's not much, honestly. I would like to see drilled lugs. I just love that for changing out bracelets and straps and stuff. So that's probably just a personal preference, but I do love to see the, the drilled lugs. Uh, if I get really nit nitpicky, the bezel is not completely true. Well, I've got it unaligned, but let me go ahead and move it back around. It's not bad. It's maybe a quarter of a click out of alignment, but it's it's not totally perfect. And then the same thing with uh, the indices. Some of them are not perfectly centered between the minute markers. So again, not, not horrible by any means. You have to look really close, but uh, if I'm nitpicking, that would be one other thing. So then we have the cool and unique and what I love. Now this has something that's pretty cool. The polished surfaces were all done with Mork polishing technique using diamond paste. They polished that to a mirror-like surface and that's on every visible polished surface. And I'll tell you, this watch just catches the light and that's part of why, and I just love that. I thought that was pretty cool. The great alternating between brushed and polished, they just did a great job with that. Uh, really catches the eye, really stands out in the sun. It's just amazing. And then of course the dial with the waves on it. That's probably one of my favorite features. We'll try to get it to show up again. But that textured dial with the, the waves representing the Nordic Sea, really, really like that. Uh, that was a favorite of mine. And that'll catch your eye through the day too, especially when it's in the sun, it really shows up uh, well. The adjustable bracelet, love that. That's always nice when you're going through the day and you just need to make a slight adjustment. And then to be honest, that, that bracelet sitting just below the lugs a little. I love that, that look and that extra detail with the, the polishing right on the edges of those lugs. So pretty cool watch overall. I really have enjoyed uh, wearing it. Okay, accessibility, which is basically both uh, availability and price. This is on pre-order right now. So you won't be getting it, you know, this month, but it will be shipping in January or February of 2024. And then when it comes to price and accessibility, you know, some can just buy a watch right off, and that's great if you can do that. This one is uh, regularly priced at $549. It's currently on sale for $469. So, you know, if you do have to save up, if you, have to, if you can save $100 a month, you can have this in, in five months. A couple hundred bucks a month, you can have it, you know, probably by the time that it's ready to ship. So I would say this is accessible for most people, um, and it will be again available here in just a few months for for shipping. Brand offerings, you can go to the website. It is www.nordicmarineinstruments.com. They do have, again, the multiple colorways available, so you'd want to check those out. I really like the green, but this is the only one I've seen in person. So um, you can check out those other colors and see what you, what you think. Uh, lots of good info on their website, so check that out. 
And uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, please put your comments in. I would love that. Please subscribe and like. And then, of course, those comments I talked about. And if there's anything that I didn't cover that you'd like to see me uh, respond to, just put that in the comments and, and we'll certainly do that. So thanks so much and uh, happy collecting. Have a great rest of the day.